What's up, weirdos? I'm a virgin. 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 This might be the most exciting video that I've ever made. I'm so excited for this. I saw the thumbnail and the title and I was like, this is made for me. Six dudes, one of them never feeling the touch or love of another and me trying to fish out the one I deeply relate to. Do not look at me as somebody who is, I know I'm, some people want to ooze like just hotness. I don't want to ooze anything. I have Febreze literally on lock. Think of me as somebody like that, not as somebody who knows the feeling of, of kiss. I don't like that. Cody Ko, that's a guy who knows how to kiss. You can tell just by the look of it. Also, this guy in the bottom left here, Spanish, Italian, Hassan Piker. Rose wearing a tiny Mickey shirt. That's, that's, that's Cody and Noel. Off the bat, if only one of these dudes is a virgin, my perspective, that dude is not. That dude has kissed. He has felt shoulder blades. The guy in the bottom middle, if I'm being honest, the tie-dye shirt speaks to somebody who I could see him being at a party with a lot of 22 year old gentlemen and feeling the touch of the woman and then giggling with his friends about it. I could see that. The guy in the bottom right, what a devious little man. What a devious fella. Devious man looking left and right. He doesn't trust his surroundings. He, he He's on the lookout. He's on the prowl. He's a little bit like a, like a meerkat, like me. When I see a meerkat showing like this, I'm like, that's me. And that's him. He's cuspy. He could be. He could be. The guy above him with the white hoodie, I got a story, tells me that he's got a story about maybe kissing and more. By the way, you can kiss and still be a virgin. Be at peace. Amen. Also, by the way, virginity is like, it's like a topic that has a lot of controversy. Let's just, first of all, get off the bat. We're not gonna be shaming anybody. There's nothing negative about being a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> me right now defending myself. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin. Literally, it's fine. It doesn't take away their value. But also it's like a thing that gets pushed on women a lot where it's like, you gotta be pure, you gotta be pure. Even outside of a religious context, girls like have to be pure and that's why body count for guys is celebrated but demonized for girls. I don't even wanna get into that. But people are people, kissing is kissing and making love is, is I assume, gotta be fun. And that guy on the top right has definitely had fun in his life. Look at that smile. Top middle, gotta be honest, bro fucks. And also, by the way, I'm not joking. You might be like, Oh, but he has glasses and a Naruto shirt. Cooper's gonna probably make fun of him. Not so, not so, not so. There is something about a man with glasses, a Naruto shirt, and a willingness to go on to a Jubilee video that's about being a virgin that tells me deep in my soul. He has been around the block. He might be at a, like a trading card shop. He might be at like a Magic the Gathering tournament, but he is making, you know, sweet marriage to, I don't wanna even do that. Guy in the top left, if he has ever kissed anybody, I'll be shocked. I'm just kidding. There's nothing wrong with not kissing anybody. There's nothing wrong with that. Also, asexuality exists, but I'm gonna be honest, if the curveball is that somebody's asexual and that's why they're a virgin, that that's a different vibe than somebody who just doesn't want to. Like, that's totally fine and totally valid. But you know what I mean? If you're like a secret asexual, it's less exciting than being the one person who hasn't made sweet, sweet passions in a group full of other gentlemen who have made sweet passions. So that's the, my just judgment off the top. <laughs> why am I judging them so hard? Because that's what I'm doing, right? So that's my judgment just off the bat, but let's get into it because throughout this whole video, the whole format is like them narrowing down who it is and trying to guess amongst themselves who it is. Also, why am I so bright? Wait, let me, let me fix this. Okay, do I look, do I look, okay, do I look better? Do my nails look cool? Do they? Chrome, Chrome. You know the, the, the Squidward? Chrome. That's not Squidward's voice. Let's get into it. Only one is telling the truth. And we're, we're here, here to find, find the, the real, real virgin. virgin. Wait, I thought that these videos were always like them trying to figure out amongst themselves. There's two girls? I hope their orientation is so that they would be attracted to girls so that they'll be more awkward. Not because I want people to be straight, by the way, shout out gay women, shout out sapphic women, shout out pansexual people. Go crazy in the comments. Hey, sapphic women and pansexual people, go crazy. Today is for you. Today is national uh, pansexual people and gay women day. That's true. And if you say it's not, by the way, why are you being so negative? Let them literally live. It's their big day. But I'm hoping that all of these people are attracted to women so that whoever the virgin is gets to go, huh, and I can read him a little bit better because of, because he's gonna be uncomfortable. But for First, before we really dive into the video, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. I'm so happy that there's a sponsor for this video. This bad boy, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, is a groundbreaking innovation in the game. Everybody has hard to see, hard to reach spots on their body that are really risky with like just like a ri This is really going to help you with those hard to reach places. And by the way, it's got a light. It's a dual temperature LED so that it can, you know, embrace and flatter a variety of skin tones. You or the person you're buying this for has used the Lawnmower 4.0 before? Trust me? The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is 
is not going to be getting rid of those features that you love. It's just improving on what is already great about Manscaped. And that's including a rechargeable Li-Ion battery, RPM technology for top performance, USB-C charging, and down here, a three-level battery light indicator so that you can actually tell when it's going to get close to needing to be recharged. So don't wait. Head over to manscaped.com and treat yourself or someone special. That's 20% off plus free shipping internationally with code filmcooper at manscaped.com. Are you convinced yet? Thank you again to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to finding out who has never felt the passionate, tender love of a partner. I'm Brian. Um, I'm a chem major trying to get into forensic science. I like anime and video games. Cool. <laughs> Bro is just straight up to the point, honest with it, as Benny J taught me to say. I'm standing on business. Brian Fox. He's a chem major. He likes anime and video games. I don't know if you guys know this. Girls are gamers too. You show me a girl, I'll show you a gamer who's a girl. And I guarantee you that posture, this shot right here, bro standing like this. This is the stance of a man who knows what it's like to touch and be touched. I'm being honest. I'm Caleb and I have anxiety. I chose to say I have anxiety because I have anxiety. End of story. Bro is anxious. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic job. You blended in, you felt really cool, you felt comfortable in the situation, and you did a great job at convincing her that you're not a friend. Bro has the middle school cartoon character fit. And I thought, honestly, that he was gonna come in with some sort of like personality or something, and he did. My name's Caleb and I have anxiety. The ladies giggling because they're like, huh, that's kind of funny. I, I mean, I have a little bit of anxiety. Then Caleb in the interview, I said that I have anxiety because I have anxiety. I'm gonna be honest, not doing himself any favors at getting comfortable in this situation by just starting out with the most intentionally awkward <laughs> introduction. Why would you choose to be in this video? Why would you sign up to be on like a very popular channel in a video about virginity if you have anxiety to the point where it's whooping your ass and you can't even introduce yourself? I feel so bad for him. I relate to Caleb. Hey, everybody, shout out to Caleb. It's Pansexual People Day, Gay Women Day, and Anxious Caleb Day. So Anxious Caleb, everybody, a big round of applause for Anxious Caleb. Also, I'm considering it might be straight guys who are nice at Air Hockey Day, but I don't know. We'll come back to that. My name is Andre. I make music. Think J. Cole. Okay, Andre. Also, yeah, Andre's definitely done. He's got the Air Forces and the, the pink and light blue shorts. He's giving us a sign. We're picking up on the sign. And the sign is that the man knows what it's like to feel intimacy with a partner. Plus, he likes J. Cole's music. He models himself after J. Cole, basically. And J. Cole has a very popular song about losing his virginity. What J. Cole say? What J. Cole say? I wrote back, like, of course I had sex before, knowing I was stunting. What the fuck? Anyways, long story short, Andre, in my opinion, has definitely done it. I'm Austin. I like to collect moss in my free time and... Moss. Like the like, like a plant. plant, yeah. Like, like you go outside and moss. touch grass and stuff? I don't need to. It's in my room. I think moss is really beautiful. When it's in like a small terrarium or ecosystem, it kind of gives like a like a little mini fairy tale vibe. I have never agreed or related to somebody more than I relate to Austin right now. He's so right, moss is awesome. I am literally the type of person who when I see moss, I get down, open up my macro lens and just start taking pics. I'm not I'm not kidding, I do that all the time. I love moss. Wait, you can keep moss in a terrarium? They just let you do that? It doesn't die? You Austin, if you're here, please comment below, comment a paragraph. I'm a beginner, I'm a starter. Please introduce me on how to create like a moss terrarium. Is there moss that's good to touch? Like good to get your hands like touching on it? Cause I love to touch moss. But wait, me feeling that way and relating to him on such a spiritual level does not bode well for his intimacy. Damn. Sorry, Austin. No, I, I, I have faith in him. I have faith in him. You can love Moss and still feel intimate passions. That's, I, I, be, I believe that. I have to believe that. Austin and I have to stick together. Okay, TJ, show us what your freaking tie-dye self is getting up to. I'm TJ. I'm a, hopefully a future dentist, recent college grad, and I like playing basketball in my free time. I was sussed out about like TJ and Brian from the start, especially TJ, because like, he just, he looks like he has sex. That's what I'm saying. He certainly does. But was she saying that about Brian or was she saying that about TJ? Because Brian, I'm with you, sister. TJ, his posture speaks to a little bit of Gru vibes, you know, from Despicable Me. Like, look at his stance right now. If that's not Gru, I don't know who is. Bro is just existing like this. This does not tell me that you know, like, what's going on because I don't know. I mean, he's got a cool shirt though. I'm sure, I'm sure he's felt intimate passions. Is that a good thing or a bad thing when someone says they look like they have sex? Is that? A compliment or a judgment insult? I'm gonna take it as a compliment for TJ. This one's for TJ. Ride strong for TJ, my tie-dye prince. Caleb, uh, I'm from Fresno, California, and I am a social media manager at my church, and I also make music, and I'm a podcast producer as well. There's a lot going on there. Wait a second. Caleb is a social media manager, probably does it for his church. Ooh, probably doesn't do it. Podcast manager. 
Tiny Meat Gang shirt. All of this information together tells me that he does it and then feels shame afterwards. <laughs> I, I could see him tearfully crying in his bathtub listening to Our God is an awesome God, he reigns. Him just sobbing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is really hot. And I wanted to kiss her, and I took it too far. From heaven above with whiz. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I could see him shamefully doing this, but why would you be doing it shamefully and then putting your putting your dirty laundry out there? Maybe he didn't do it for religious reasons. But with the tiny meeking shirt, he likes Cody and Noel, and they say words like fuck and, and jizz. In my ass, like big fat cum in my ass, packing my ass full of cum. One thing about Noel is he'll talk about packing his ass full of cum. Or packing someone's ass full of c Will Cody talk about packing asses for the c Now Cody's more of a- I did diving at Duke. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm boy Brittany Broski, cause I love Cody Noel, but I, I don't know him. Anyways, I think he shamefully fucks. <laughs> Let's keep going, we gotta keep going. On social media for my church, I was like, do you? Do you run social media for your church? That's a sin. <laughs> okay. Wait, are we supposed to figure out who the virgin is? Are, are you gonna tell us who the- Tell me who the virgin is! Tell me! And please tell me it's not the Moss Boy. I wanna have hope for the future. I'm joking. I wanna keep you on your toes. You know nothing about- I had an idea of who might be a virgin for whatever reason, right? Okay. You do you. You know, I feel like wearing a Naruto shirt's a little too obvious. You know, I like Naruto too, but I'm not a virgin. I feel like people that go to cons or like watch anime- Wait, that's what I'm saying. Awesome! I know about stuff like girls do, but I'm gonna be honest, the slow push in when they were talking about, I had an idea of who it was, and it kind of showing Austin going like this. That does not tell me that he has had intimate passions with anybody before. I think from my best estimate right now, it seems like Moss Boy or Anxious Boy are probably the virgins. Cause Brian do be giving Naruto freaky vibes. What the hell am I talking about? Okay, let's keep going. You're a freak, aren't you? No, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm, mm. uh. I probably shouldn't have brought the Naruto t-shirt. <laughs> I love Brian so much. Just the accusations. You're a freak, aren't you? You're a little freak. I know you're a freak in bed. You're a freak. Brian. Uh, I, 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 just, I like Naruto. I... He's awesome, man. He's so real with it, too. I probably shouldn't have worn the Naruto shirt. They obviously were clued in on my raw sexual vigor. And he's so funny. He's so, like, best friend coded. I could be best friends with him, I think. I don't know if he'd want to be best friends with me. Even. Maybe not. I don't. I don't watch a lot of Naruto. Damn. I also feel like the the, the social media manager for the church. I feel like for the church. For the, it's a little too. I feel like it's too on the nose. This guy's giving us nothing, so I'm automatically <laughs> super sus about him. He's dressed like a cartoon character. Yeah, kind of like Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. That's. Literally what I said. Am I these women? Wait a second. Am I girl? Because I'm literally saying the things that they're- What? He is dressed like a cartoon character. But the real question is, can he soy face like a Try Guys thumbnail? I try to do YouTuber thumbnails. I try my fucking best to do a great YouTube thumbnail. I can't even touch the Try Guys thumbnails. They're in that bitch like- oh! <laughs> Don't let Keith Haversberger be in a thumbnail. I tried all my KFC fried chicken! He's self-aware about it though. I think that he would think it's funny if he knows that I'm saying it not from a place of hatred and judgment, but from a place of love. He knows that his things are like that. He knows he's just doing it. I'm not making fun of him. He knows what he's doing. He's doing it very well, but it is funny to see that from a distance. <laughs> Is that what I should be doing to my thumbnails? Is that why they have millions of more subscribers than me? Because I'm not soy facing that hard? I just don't think my jaw can unhinge like that. Anyways, bro is a virgin. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see, let's see. The first person eliminated is... TJ. Oh, that's a good pick. I'm sorry, tie-dye prince. I'm sorry. Hey, this one was for TJ, but I guess not anymore. <laughs> I guess you gotta take that as a compliment, though, that they were like, no, 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 this man has definitely intimately passioned before. My question is, are the dudes who've done it before, are they trying to act virgin? Or is the virgin trying to act not virgin? Because the five of them, I don't think they all know who the virgin is. And I think the goal is to stay in the game as long as possible. So I think that you would want, oh, you would want to act like you are a virgin because they're eliminating the fake virgin. So that there's only one real true virgin, the truest virgin. That's what they're looking for. Okay, so he should have acted more virgin. Yeah, yeah, no, this dude did a bad job because that tie-dye shirt definitely screams, I've made sweet passion with people. And I'm trying to act virgin. Oh, virgin, you know, tie-dye wearers, right? Like that's what his mindset probably was because he was trying to act virgin. Yeah, TJ, you played the game poorly. <laughs> Because they're like, oh, there's no way he's a virgin, but also like, I feel like I could have proved myself, my virginity better if I had more time, but 
It is what it is. I feel like I could have proved my virginity if they'd just given me some time. <laughs> I could have really looked awkwardly at their breasts and said, What them dude? What they look like? Man, poor guy. Poor guy. Oh, there's six people. Now there's five, but there were- Oh, oh, I'm bad at doing math. Okay, let's keep going. So round two, they're gonna ask some more questions, try to figure out who the virgin is even more. Right now, I definitely feel like it's Mr. Moss, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I truly relate to you. You are my true soul, but I don't think that you felt intimacy. Maybe emotionally but you know. It can be such a sensitive topic. There's so many reasons. And I think it was hard catering that line of being, you know, sensitive and open-minded, but also trying to figure out the answer. That's how I'm approaching this video. I'm just like these girls. I'm one of them. Troy Savant sings one of your girls. I love Troy Savant. When I had short hair and was incredibly malnourished, people used to say that I looked like him. I'm not saying that he's malnourished. He's a slender, handsome young gentleman. And back when I truly was not eating as much as I should have been eating, I was like a very tall, but still skinny, uh, Troy Savant looking people is what they said. Now you know what they say I look like? Fucking Ryan Ross. I've got so many comments of people saying, oh my God, you literally look like Ryan Ross. Do people actually know the guy from Panic at the Disco? I have since this. I've done my research. Also, people say I look like Bojan from uh, Joker out. Oh, any but anyways, what I was saying was like, there is like a balance that you have to, that you have to draw where you're trying to be aware and you're trying to be self, like, you know, Conscious? You're trying to be sensitive to how other people are feeling and not just the people in the video, but how people on the outside are feeling. There's nothing wrong with not having felt intimate passions or ever experiencing that. If you want it, eventually it'll happen. Like just trust yourself, trust the process, bro. And if you don't want it to happen, like that's fine. Who's gonna judge you for that? I'm not gonna judge you for that. Sometimes you'll just say something and then you'll not be thinking about how it's perceived. Like in my last video, I said that, <laughs> it's so funny to say, it's not funny. I had said that I liked Michael Jackson's music before he was white. And then I had like been like, but I know it's not because of the, like vitiglia and stuff. But even then it's still, I just feel like that feels like not nice to say. What I was trying to say was that Thriller is the last album of his that I really like liked and his stuff before that, like his Thriller and before that is really great. And if I'm being honest, the big, you know, marker of th that you can like define as the different eras of Michael Jackson, Thriller and then beyond, there's like a very like major difference, but it's a skin condition and he got like burned by Pepsi. It's like things like that where it's like, I know that I'm not saying it trying to be mean. I'm just trying to like, say a funny thing and like a funny like reference to like, but then afterwards you just go, that shit was not the nicest thing to have said. So I'm trying to be thoughtful and trying to be mindful, especially with this one, because this is like a, a personal intimate topic. Why is this a TED talk? This is a Jubilee video, grow up. I'm talking to myself, not you. Do whatever you want to do. But the, but yeah, you know what I mean? It is important to be sensitive about these types of things, not just for the subjects of the video, but for the people who are watching this video. And I'm just saying, no matter if you've made intimate passions with 379 people or zero, people, you are valid and you are worthy of love. Unless you're like Bill Cosby, because I don't think he's, you know, valid of deserving love. I don't think he is, and that's fine. And I'm gonna stand on that. Let's get back to the video, you absolute dunce. I'm a Christian. Stay pure before marriage and everything, so I believe in that. Even before I wasn't a Christian though, like I, I just felt God pulling me like kind of away from that just to protect me in a way. And so that's kind of like why I've just kind of like stayed away from it. I'm assuming that they're subscribed to TMGstudios.tv and to get the like the full podcast membership. Like I'm assuming that so he's got the bonus episode of content too. Cause he's got the t-shirt. I mean, this guy is on the bonus episodes. And if he's hearing two hours a week of Cody and Noel talking about packing and in their asses, I feel like he's lying. You can be a Christian and love that type of like content, but I'm being honest. I don't think that you would also be the type of Christian who is like staying pure for marriage. We're gonna find out, and we're gonna. And I think Cody doesn't get enough credit for how handsome he is. People just are like, oh, he's so funny. Oh, he's short. He's old, he's funny. Can I be honest with you? Bro is handsome as hell. So is Noel. Look at Noel in the eyes. Tell me that man's not handsome. You can't. And so what? Okay, and, and what about it? You know who else is classically handsome? Dana Gonzalez, Drew Gooden. You look at those guys, they're classically classically handsome. As much as you want to be like, oh the, oh, the funny guy, funny guy. They're so funny and handsome. Don't even get me started on Curtis Connor. He oozes it. He does. He's got that mullet. He oozes. I saw him on stage, live stand-up comedy. Bro's funny, bro's handsome. Bro went tinkling his girlfriend's stuffed animals one time. That's a true story. At least, from my opinion. He said that when he was making up the- <laughs> I need to stop talking about other commentary YouTubers that I don't know. Anyways, Jarvis Johnson's really handsome. Okay, keep going. If you can believe it, it's hard to meet people with similar hobbies. I'm not really great with going out and meeting new people and it's tough out there. Uh, I'm a man of God. I grew up Pentecostal, but now I'm more non-denominational. Uh, a lot of my music 
is themed in Christian themes. That's okay, okay, I get it with the J. Cole thing. A lot of Christians are J. Cole stands if they like, I get it, I get it. You grew up Pentecostal and now you're non-denominational. You know what caused that transition? Intimate passions with a woman who loved you. That's that's definitely what happened. Every single Pentecostal to non-denominational person I know, which is Andre, stop, he's done it, stop, stop. Like literally he has. And if he's lying, then he's going to hell. <laughs> you can't lie and then not go to hell. That's literally in the Bible. I'm just goofing around, I'm just joking around. I think you can lie all the time. But if Curtis Connor lied about peeing in his girlfriend's stuffed animals the first time they met, I think that makes you go to hell. Cause he said it to a lot of people. I'm just joking around. Watch his stand-up comedy. Also watch Noelle's stand-up comedy. Why am I plugging other people's shit? Buy my necklaces for God's sake. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I'm not waiting for anything. I just have anxiety. That's my issue. I have anxiety. I'm like, me too, bro, but what does that mean? Okay, you've done it when you like, you talk to a girl and you like bring her home and like you've kissed a girl and stuff like that. But I've never gotten to the point like where I've actually hooked up with her. I literally just, Spooner the entire night. He's telling like he's not playing the game at all. He's literally just telling the truth. If he's lying, I I, I don't trust him at all. For like in life for anything ever. I would never trust him. If he's lying right here, because that's the most truthful and honest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. He literally has one thing: anxiety, and he spoons women. That's two things. Yeah, but shout out to spooning women. Shout out to Spooning. Hey, shout out. I really think he's telling the truth. Comment below right now if you think he's telling the truth. And if he's not by the very end, oh my God, I'm, am I gonna be mad and miffed and pissed. <laughs> Girls don't generally find me attractive. Um, I I meet a lot of people who has in common with anime, but like we only really just talk about like anime video games and that's really about it. Like doesn't go further than that. That is such deceit. That's lie from the devil's mouth right there. I know that he is Capping more than anybody has ever capped in their entire life. Absolutely. There is no way that he is telling the truth right there. He is, by the way, an expert performer. He's doing a phenomenal job. But I guarantee you that he's at intimate passions. I can guarantee you. That right there was a man who has done it before. That's it's like, honestly. And like his voice was catching and he was nervous. Not that he's around women and he's nervous. He was feeling that way because he's lying and he doesn't like to lie. Brian doesn't want to go to hell and Brian's not going to go to hell. Nobody's going to go to hell. Except for Curtis Connor if he didn't pay on his girlfriend's stuffed animals. But I believe him, I, I believe him. Because you can't lie in stand-up comedy. That's not allowed. Ask Hassan Minhaj. New Yorker, retract your article. Or if you're Hassan Minhaj, there's an article that the New York put out that he lied about a bunch of things and that's really shitty if he actually did lie about the things that he was talking about but then he came out and was like actually no i didn't lie about that for this and this and this and the new yorker was like no we stand by it so whoever is not telling the truth there is a bad person and i hope that hassan minhaj is not lying because i think he's funny does it like define virginity to you like what is i feel like it's pretty hard to define i think typically people think of like penetrative sex but that's obviously not always the case i think it's up to the two people to decide. I take it back. Austin, he's so funny. Why are you saying it like, I know that that's like what the question, but it's so funny to be standing like surrounded by four other dudes. He's sweating. There's two girls in front of him and he's talking about penetrative sex. Like using that terminology while sweating and being nervous is so funny to me. Uh, I think that uh, it's generally defined as penetrative sex, but uh, really, really at the end of the day, it's up to the two people to decide. But hey, I mean, he's, Right? He's not lying. It's just funny to hear him say that. Such a nervous tone. I'm starting to think bro is definitely a virgin. And that's fine. That's great. Well, shout out. But the anxiety that he's giving off right now is way more than the anxiety that Caleb is giving off by just saying, I have anxiety. Honestly, Caleb saying I have anxiety just gives like, don't talk to me till I've had my coffee. I'm not a Christian till I've had my coffee. Man. Where it's like, do you, or are you just saying that because you think it's like silly and funny? Because it's actually not silly or funny to be depressed and have anxiety. Like it's actually not. And Caleb is kind of giving me the vibe of like, I'm just going to say that because if I have anxiety and then don't talk a lot, they're going to think that I have it and I don't talk to women. Austin is somebody who looks like they are fighting through anxiety every second of this conversation. Penetrative sex. But it's, I mean, at the end of the day, it's up for anybody else. Uh, the two people who are <laughs> like that to me, I relate to. Like I look at that and I'm like, been there. He's so awesome. Austin is so awesome. But let's see how the other fellas define virginity. Yeah, if you're straight, it's definitely like pounding the punani. But like, if you're not, then I mean, it's definitely like intercourse. That's why I would like. This is exactly what I had just said. Come on, he's lying. He's lying. He's a little liar. And what I had said before about oh, he's a he's a good liar. No, he's not. He's a bad liar. He's not a virgin. Oh, congratulations, congratulations. You felt intimate passions. Good for you. <laughs> You know, it's generally pounding the punani. Other than that, you know, generally intercourse. Come on, man. Be more like Austin. Fight demons just to get out of words. <laughs> 
I, ah! I saved it. It didn't even fall on the camera, but oh, can I show you something cool? So a second ago, I had this. You know, I, I was trying to make this so the, like, the audio sounds nice. I watched it on that monitor. It's not a very nice monitor. I should get a better one. But this just fell off, and that's embarrassing. Guys, I'm trying to be a YouTuber. I really am. Like, I got these sound panels, and I thought to myself, I'm fucking YouTube coded right now. But I have 800,000 subscribers. Do you know how crazy that is to me? Like, 800,000 subscribers is so many more than I really understand. And I know, I know, okay, I had 1.5 million on TikTok. I still do, technically, I guess. But YouTube is like, it's a different ballgame. Like, being a TikToker with 1.5 million subscribers feels like I have two Starbucks coffees. It's like, cool. But you're just, you just want to be a YouTuber so desperately. And now that I am, I just feel really happy. And I'm feeling, I like, I'm so grateful. I don't know, I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. What the hell am I talking about? I just screamed because that fell and all of a sudden I just started praising you. <laughs> I really do appreciate you though. And if you do subscribe, I'll appreciate it more than any other YouTuber. I can tell you that, I can tell you that. I cut the bullshit. What's everyone's favorite porn category? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one. I, I straight up just don't. I don't know. So you just like click on whatever? Uh, if, yeah, when it, if, if I do it, then yeah. I think I believe him for being the, wait, is he the virgin? Has Austin done it before? Cause that felt so, no, 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 no. Actually, no, no, that felt shameful is what it felt. It didn't feel like, oh, I'm a good Christian boy who doesn't watch it. It felt shameful. And it felt like I literally morally cannot say because that's actually like, I don't want anybody to know that. That felt very shameful. Okay, okay. So, but I, th I do still think that he's done it because of the two hours of come and jizz in their ass uh, talk that Cody and Noel do that he watches every week. Cody and Noel, by the way, talk about a lot more than just that. They are very funny and their podcast is amazing. It's one of the best in the game. I love it. It's non-stop laughs, a hoot and a holler, and stop saying they're not friends anymore. Stop saying they're just business partners. That's so annoying when I see that in the comment section. I hear that they're not actually friends. They don't do that. It's cringe, so they don't hang out. They hang out so fucking much. Okay, so it's for their job. They're in their 30s. Shut up. They're not in high school like you, okay? They're not. I don't know them. Am I? I'm being so parasocial right now. But in a Britney Broski way, that's fun, hopefully. Long story short, I think bro is shameful of his, you know, inappropriate viewing videos. But can I just say something? For a girl in like a Christian religious context, it is so shameful and it is so like frowned upon and there's so much negativity to it attached to it if you confess to having had intimate passions with somebody. Like it's, you just get really, really judged. But guys, when, when they get in their prayer circle and it's time to be like, any have anybody have prayer requests? And some guys like, yeah, I've just really been struggling because I had sex over the weekend and you know, we were just going crazy. It's like a cool thing. It's like, oh, it's the cool sin if it's a guy. I could see this guy being a Christian and not being lying about that stuff but being okay being on this video because it's still kind of cool that he smashed. Like it's a sin and I'm shameful of it, but it's in a cool way. I could see that. Not to insult him, not to make it about him, but there is like that culture of thing where it is more acceptable to say that you've done that than it is to say your favorite inappropriate video category because one is shameful and one is kind of looked at as the cool sin for guys and absolutely not for girls. And that's important to acknowledge in this. Is it important to acknowledge or am I just, just talking? I'm just talking. God, keep watching. I oh, don't my pastor going to kill me. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Reverse gangbang. So hard. That's pretty intense. <laughs> Who doesn't watch porn? They thought I was sus, but that's clearly not even sus. I feel like us virgins watch porn. I'm sorry, I'm flabbergasted. He said reverse. Wait, what the hell does that mean? Oh, I guess it probably means one guy and then a whole bunch of bunch of girls. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Andre was honest. Better than what Caleb gave us. But golly. I also don't really like watch uh videos, but I like read uh like hentai. Wow. I gotta be honest. Brian goes crazy. I, like, I, I cannot emphasize this enough. I'm not saying that because I think it's funny because he obviously doesn't. Like, I could see you being like, oh, you're being mean to him because obviously he doesn't. You're just acting like he does as a joke. Okay, noted. That's not what I'm saying it though. Like, I truly, truly, truly think the dude is like not the virgin. And maybe he's only had like intimate passion love with like two or three or one person. Like that's totally, that's totally within the realm of possibility. But I just, I'm gonna be honest. He doesn't watch, he reads hentai. That's awesome. I've never done that before in my entire life. Read it? Like read it? Me personally, I just read A Court of Thorns and Roses until I got embarrassed and then I just shut it. Like that's, you know? By the way, that book is wild. <laughs> So the first person eliminated is... Uh...
AKA moss guy. Moss guy. No. Women love plants, you know? So yeah. it's like, you got plant roots. You can cultivate some gardens. You can cultivate a lady It's like, hey there, little mama. <laughs> you like plants? Yeah, okay. I mean, I get their logic. Girls like plants. That's why I have... Damn. Should get some greenery in here. Damn, but that does suck though, because I really liked Austin's presence in this video. And by presence, I mean... <gasps> penetrative sex. I think he's funny guy. And I stand by. But who else are they gonna eliminate? Because they're eliminating two people this round, allegedly. Next person eliminated is. Caleb. I agree with this. That's a good move. I think that I think that eliminating Mr. I have anxiety and no other character quality. I think that is a good thing to do because I don't think that he was being honest about that. I think that okay, maybe he does have anxiety. I'm not gonna die. I don't know. I, bro has said three sentences. How am I to know? Felt like he was lying. It did feel like he was lying, and I'm sorry. It's just how I feel. I'm just a guy. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I'm just, you know, a virgin. Um, I have not really done anything because I mostly just focus on my studies and I feel like my past experiences kind of change how I... I don't think it makes sense. I think you can focus on your studies and absolutely find intimate love and sweet, sweet passions with anybody that you want, Brian. And I think that, I think that you're the type of guy who can juggle that. I think that he is literally going about his day having to, like, brush people off and where it's like, no, not right now. Not right now. I'm studying. Okay, but right now, okay, I will. Like, you know what I mean? I just feel it in my bones that Brian has done it. And I really feel like they already eliminated the virgin. And I think that it was Austin. And, I, and it sucks to say that. Because he is me. And, you know, I would like to think that I present myself as somebody. But I don't. I know. I know. I get it. I get it. I, I, I get it. I think that Austin did not, I, I, you know. But let's keep going. Let's see what's going on here. I don't know. I just never really got into it. In, into what? with women so basically <laughs> the puns are going easy <laughs> hands is as far as i've gone in high school and then after that once i started getting focused music started working hands is as far as i've gone are you trying to tell me that andre just admitted to he's done that so he's a slut i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I could stop. No, no. Okay. So, but they're saying that the full-on Nelson is what is what makes you a virgin. You know what? I feel like if you were a Pentecostal turned non-denominational Christian, you would feel plenty of guilt over just. I don't know though. That's interesting that he admitted to that because it kind of puts things in a new context. That kind of feels like maybe he is a virgin. He does listen to J. Cole, and J. Cole does have a song about. I wrote back like, of course I had sex before. No, when I was fronting, she said, you got it. No, when I was done, there's something there. Can you tell me what it is? But I could see a J. Cole fan being a virgin. 99% of them are. This is signed by the Ski Mask, the Slump God Stan Gang. There's something there? <laughs> no, there's not. Okay, come on. I guess for me, uh, I definitely was doing a lot of stuff in high school, but never went that far. And, it's, and that kind of carried into like my adult years, but I just never went that far just cause like God was just telling me like, no. You're telling me Caleb with a K has gone down? Wait, wait, everything is making sense. I believe that he's never done it now. I could totally see Caleb has not having done it. Does that mean that Moss Boy is banged? Does that mean that you can like Moss and still feel sweet, intimate, lovable, lo loving passion activity times? That's awesome. Wait, that's kind of awesome, no? That's awesome, no? Is it? Just trying to see if you're paying attention. Like these nails? Like these nails? A girl painted them on me. Now what? Were you guys like in like college or high school? Like, did you have a lot of friends? Did you not have friends? Did you like partying? I was in the marching band in high school and like the drum line, like that's like the cool people of the marching band, but uh -huh. Is it? still marching band, you know, I know. <laughs> I played two sports, soccer and baseball. And then out of school, I made music. At high school, I was like a bit of a loner. You know, I got picked on a lot. I mostly just stuck to like academics. And then in college, COVID came. So I feel like that's also another reason I don't like go out a lot. No, 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 no. He's lying to us. He's lying to us because uh, on another level, Caleb with a K, long hair boy, I kind of believe that he is the virgin, which means that Brian definitely isn't. Everything that he's saying into a crazy context, because he seems so believable. He seems so like sad, so forlorn. So no woman's ever wanted to kiss me because I've just been so busy with anime and video games and studying. I just want to be a biochem major. No, no girl ever likes me. But everything in my mind is screaming to Caleb with a K or Austin being the virgin which means that Brian definitely has. Uh, can he tell me how he did it? Can he tell me? Brian, teach me your ways. Ah, oh, teach me. If I sing to him, he might listen. Brian, teach me. Shut the hell up. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. But then also, side note, guy in the middle, Andre, telling his little story. Yeah, I played 
multiple sports. I made music. Come on, he's done it. He's done it. He's a Pentecostal turned non-denominational. He's done it. And don't even get me started if he turned Lutheran. <laughs> oh, bro, definitely would have done it. If he was a Lutheran, oh my gosh, don't even get me begun on a Presbyterian. Don't even. A Methodist? Oh, so you're a whore. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just naming denominations and then trying to. I'm just kidding. 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 Let's keep going. What's the worst thing that you've ever lied about? One time, oh God, it's on the spot. Uh, like, I think, uh, so I, uh, I guess I lied to my parents about a test score. No, he's lying because he was trying to think of a thing that he's lied about other than the lie that he's telling right now about being a virgin. He has definitely done it. Look me in the eyes and tell me he hasn't done it. Look me in my eyes and tell me that Brian hasn't done it. You can't, you can't because you and I both know we're locked in right now. That guy, he has absolutely done it and he's lying right now and that's why he's nervous. He's not nervous because there's girls in front of him. He knows what to do with a woman if she likes him and they're in love with each other. Yeah, he knows what to do. Also, who's saying any straight? Uh, you know, you know, let's not assume. Let's not assume. What, do you, what am I saying? Let's, it's just me. That's that the biggest lie you ever told. Lying about a chemistry test grade, mm -hmm. sir. Thank you girls. That's what I've been saying. Just like y'all. <laughs> Oh, this guy could be a big freaking liar. Well, let's just pick, let's just pick. Which one screams virgin to you the most? Which one screams virgin to you the most? Oh wait, they're revealing who they think is the virgin because they're voting out two people. So this right here, it all comes down to this. This is their final guess. So they just said, which one of them screams virgin to you? And let's not write him down because there's obviously one there who screams it. So I guess whoever's name isn't here has to deal with the fact that they have been absolutely shouting their virginity. Just fine, I guess that's the whole point because that's how you win? These ladies had better be voting out Andre and Brian. No matter what, they better vote out Brian. If they vote out Caleb and Andre, that is gonna be a big mistake. And I don't think that these ladies would do that. I think that they and I are on the same page and that they're gonna leave Caleb and I think it's either Caleb or Austin. That's my prediction. First person eliminated. Wow, I did not expect that. He was just like, Giggling a lot. You know, sometimes it, it when you lie, freaking me you out. like giggle a little bit. Gals, what are we doing? Don't tell me you're gonna call Brian a virgin. Brian is not a virgin. I would have voted Brian out round one. He screams he's not a virgin so loud. Please don't pick Brian as your virgin. It's gonna be so wrong. You're gonna be wrong and you're gonna be embarrassed. The next person eliminated is... <sighs> Come on, eliminate Brian. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Thank God they didn't pick him as the virgin. Because the thing is, okay, Andre, in my opinion, obviously the wrong answer. But he listens to J. Cole. We can't forget about that. He listens to J. Cole. Yeah, Andre might be a virgin. If the lights turn green, Andre was telling the truth, and you guessed right. If the lights turn red, Andre was lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm not a virgin. Congratulations, Andre. Congratulations. He won. He won. He Because I, I think that is the winner. To make it all the way to the end, but be telling a lie? Because then he won. But if they had guessed right, then they would have. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. How can the virgin win then? Well, virgins never win. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, well, let's figure out who the freaking virgin is. Because I swear to God, if it's Caleb or Austin, I'm going to high five myself so flipping hard. The real virgin, please step forward and also raise their hand. No! Oh, dude. Yes! Brian has done it. I knew Brian had done it. I knew it! That is my celebration. Okay, Caleb's a virgin, but you know, he also just confessed to doing a lot of other stuff. To let people know, that I guess, that he's cool because like I was saying, it's a cool sin for Christian guys. And I know you're gonna say, no, it's not, no, it's not. But how it's received in the Christian community by other young men and how it seems to be told by other young men, it feels like performative shame, whereas a girl is like actual shame. And it's my dream that everybody who's lost their virginity in the church feels incredible, crippling shame. Girls and guys alike. <laughs> That's my platform for presidency. Make guys feel shame. Okay, okay. That shocks me though, because, you know, everything that I've been saying about him this entire time, listening to, you know, the Tiny Meat Gang. But he also has done a bunch of stuff. You know what I mean? It's not the same as somebody who's like, never, ever felt any intimate passions. Because you can have some intimate passions without going the full nine yards. And it sounds like he's done that a lot. It's different than who Brian was presenting himself as, which is just play too much video games so a woman is never... 
uh, look, looked at me. That's what I was expecting the actual virgin to be. But this, you know, this feels like, okay, congrats, I guess you didn't sin. It's kind of Mormon vibes though. Guys, I'm just soaking. It's not, a, it's not. I'm literally just inside and then my friends are underneath the bed kicking it. So I go in out, but I'm not doing it. So it's not really sad. I'm still a virgin. I just derfed her. Derfing, by the way, is when you wear tight jeans and your girl wears tight jeans. And then you just start, you know, grinding on each other until you, I guess, derf in your pants. Can I say something really quickly? Noah Miller made a song about that. <laughs> he made a song about derfing and like Mormon sex and he deleted it off of Spotify. It's one of my favorite songs ever. Can I show you just a little clip? This song goes incredibly hard. It's incredible and it's still on YouTube. Noah, please don't delete this. Please don't delete this. Noah, please, I swear to God, please don't delete this. So Sean, what's up? Derf my shit. We get it popping in the bed now that the team gone. This short and she wanna fuck up put my jeans on. That's just a taste of potentially the greatest song ever made. God, it's so good. This shorty, she wanna fuck. I put my jeans on. She climbing all up my beam, acting King Kong. You grinding my 501s, this your theme song. A your little Molly going crazy on my waistband, and she gripping up on my bone like a caveman. And it's about Mormon sex? That's so fucking hard. Anyways, God. Anyways, let's keep going, because I want to hear all these other dudes talking, because all, all of their lies have just been exposed. They're lying. They're literally lying. Virgin, uh, because kind of chosen to take that route, um, mainly because of my faith with Christianity. Not a virgin. Most of half of my music's about sex. <gasps> and, and I am in a form of a poly relationship. So. <laughs> <laughs> Super first gang So yeah. So. It keeps me alive. You gotta, you gotta flip. <laughs> Shout out Andre. Shout out. Poly, shout out, form of poly relationship. I don't really know what a form of a poly relationship is. Uh, is it not just poly relationship? Shout out, shout out, shout out. He's got that Riverdale quad going on, but I guarantee, whatever. Let's not even get into Riverdale. We were right about him being a freak. Yes. I felt like I was a great fit for the show because I'm well aware or I'm confident of how I'm perceived as. Right. And I felt like me being here is able to like break the stereotypes in one way or another. That right. would be great. Exactly. 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 That's my Kylo Ren impression. Exactly. Oh, that's from the SNL skit where he does that. I do a really great Kylo Ren impression. No, you're still holding on. Let go. Just kidding. Let go. Like, remember when he goes, let go. Like to, to Ray. And then the rest of the movie kind of sidelines Finn in a frustrating way. But Kylo and Ray's story is actually badass and awesome. And if it had been, you know, set up that way in the movie before, it would have been awesome. And then the movie after that, all the cool, great stuff about The Last Jedi, all the fucking awesome stuff about it gets absolutely thrown away and backpedaled on. And all the stuff that sucks about it gets turned to the front and then also, uh, nothing's real. I'm gonna stand on this. Kylo Ren killing Snoke and then it like saving Rey and then saying, hey, you and I can join forces and rule the empire together. Like that is an incredible villainous turn where it's like, oh, is he gonna be an anti-hero? No, no, no. You think he's saving her, but he's actually the bigger villain for the next movie. I don't wanna talk about the whole thing with the Admiral. I don't wanna talk about the whole like plot hole bullshit and the sidelining of Finn and that whole casino thing. The story of Kylo Ren's character became incredible in that movie, but then it's just completely sidelined and pointless in the movie that follows it. I hate Star Wars so much. God, I wish I could like it. I really wish I could like it, but the fact that Kylo Ren was like so much potential and then just fully squandered, like, oh my god, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk. Brian has had sex. That's fantastic. And I love that for him. Shout out Brian. Shout out Naruto fans. Shout out Hentai Reader. And I love you so much. And this was a crazy ass video. This was so long. Do I even make YouTube videos? This is a fucking podcast? Jeez Louise, look at the runtime of this. If you've watched it this far, or if you're not subscribed, get out. Like, what? This is so much. And we're basically best friends. I love you. So thank you so much. And please subscribe. Shout out. I'm so happy about this. I'm so happy about it. Because basically, the stuff that I was saying was right on the money. Although I did think it was gonna be Austin. I really did think it was gonna be Austin, but as it went on, I was like, oh, well, if that's what the actual virgin is gonna be like, if it's like, you can have like done a lot of other stuff, like, yeah, then that would, that would make sense for him to be. So, so you know what I mean? Like once it kind of came into perspective of what is considered virginity in this, in this